Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to Making Dreams Come True episode 21. In the last episode, we entered the tombs of a masket and ended up getting our thread to make the divine room pouch. And I enjoyed the tombs of a masket so much that I'm going to dive right back into it this week. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you're new here and you like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I upload more videos in the future. But let's go ahead and get started. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. I think I'm going to start off this video by doing some more TOA, but I want to pick up the BGS again just to be able to have it and use it for the raid as well. So here we go. All right, I'm just going to stay with the 220 that I was doing in the last video and see how it goes. <clears throat> there we go. We got the clear. 3852. And oh, oh, it's a purple. Oh my god. Holy shit! Okay, this is raid number 11 on normals? I believe, yeah, raid number 11, okay. Oh, what could this be? Oh my god. Honestly, I'm fine with anything. I am fine with anything. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, it's a light bearer. Oh, well, that is about the cheapest thing you can get from here, but it is a new collection log slot. So very nice. Light bearer is only 3.9 mil now. Holy crap. This thing should be worth a lot more, honestly. You gotta send the back to back though, right? All right, down to the wire. Do we get the back to back? That is the real question. Nope, white light, all right. 70k worth of loot. I'm in a rush. Oh, very nice. All right, 34.59. That may have been a personal best. Oh, close. I think it was close. 34.34, okay. Yeah, so we're pretty close to the personal best. Another white light and 14 Snapdragon seeds. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's over 500K for this chest. It's pretty good, pretty good.
There we fucking go, oh my god. I went through the whole Wardens with only one Ambrosia. So, uh, I had to use it there at the very end, but we end up getting our first... Oh, it was a 2.30. Oh, it's 2.30 because I didn't hit the time. I did not hit the time. But, uh, technically a 2.50, but, you know, scaled down to a 2.30, uh, rewards-wise. But let's see what we get. And it is a white light. Well, not too bad. About 300k worth of loot right there. I was getting a little tired, so I decided to do some AFK Slayer. And I just hit 97 strength. Very nice. Okay, so I ended up getting a Dagonoff task last night in Waterbirth Island. So I want to go do DKs, but I was looking at the wiki and I realized I had all the requirements to go ahead and get the Elite Fremenic Diary done. And that will make it to where the Dagonoff King's bones are dropped in noted form. So I want to go do that before I do the Dagonoff task, that way I can get the noted bone drops. Because that will make the profit from there a lot more. Now if we look here, I have the 82 runecraft and I have the crafting to do that. I just need to kill um, all the generals in the God Wars dungeon, which I've already killed Bandos and Sarah Doman once, at least once. And then, so I just need to kill Armadale and Zamorak. So I'm going to go over there and get me one kill of each and then get the rest of the diary done. Now I haven't really watched anything to kill these bosses. I know Kree, you just kind of stand in a corner and hope for the best and then Krill I think you just kind of run around with range and hope for the best as well so I just brought a whole bunch of brews and restores I'm only going for one kill each in them so let me find I think Krill is over here not Krill Armadillo is over here so I'm gonna go over here okay got all the kills and now I can run over here and you just oh there's a guy in here okay um all right, that was painful. Might as well pick up everything. All right, and we're out. All right, and I'm just gonna go in the same inventory. It it should be fine, it should be fine. Now when you climb, well, when you cross this bridge, you lose all your prayer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, you lose all your prayer. All right, and I have no idea what I'm doing in here. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tank everything. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh man, uh, there's fucking poison I didn't realize. Maybe I can just kill him really fast. Oh my god. Yeah, I probably should have watched a video on that or something, huh? Okay, let's try that again. Alright, we killed him. Uh, that... That was a pain too, because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just fucking, I'm just here for the task. Try to grab all these brews too. Okay. Um, then I came in here with 1.3 mil too. What the fuck am I doing? All right, well, we got that done. And we got a combat task for just killing them. I, I don't even know what I did, but. All right, and the last two, I need to craft 56 astral runes at once from essence. And then... I need to create a Dragonstone Amulet in the Nezanot Furnace. So I'm going to go get that supplies and then head over there. Alright, and here is what the uh, furnace looks like. It looks pretty cool. But yeah, I should just be able to make this and get that complete as well. And that is all of the elite task for the Fremenic area. So let's go and get the rewards. Yes, I have done the diary. Give me my shit. Thank you very much. All right, Fremenic Sea Boots 4 and an antique lamp that we're going to put into agility. Now, the elite diary is going to give us the Dagonaut Bones in the noted form. Um, the Enchanted Lyre can now go to Nezanot and Jatizo. Um, even faster approval gain in the Miscellanea. You won't need a Seal of Passage anymore um, to interact with anyone on Lunar Isle. Um, and the return orb inside the bank can now be used instead of getting kicked out of the island. And... Purple, no. It's just a white light. Alright, mahogany logs, magic seeds, and a lily of the sands. 
That is 177k. Oh man, we we didn't we missed time by one second. That's sad. And it is a white light. Nine battle staves, some sapphires, and some gold bars. All right, that is gonna be enough TO8 for me for the day. I am gonna go ahead and do that DK's task now. So let's head over to Waterbirth Island. All right, a 48 kill trip. I did a trio and that was like the first time I've actually been able to do a pretty big trip there. So uh, that's nice. Didn't get any drops, but I did get these skeletal bottoms, and I have no idea what they go to or what they're for. I didn't even know they were things. Yeah, they're a 1 in 128, and they appear to be pretty useless. Right, there we go, a 220. Ran a bit high on time, but still managed to make it. And it's a white light. Hey, a cache of runes. Very nice. I hear these things uh, actually give quite a lot. So, bam, 1800 blood runes. Fuck yeah. So since I don't have a lot of time this week, um, when I do have time, I've just been doing raids, and then if I have any time on my phone, then I just do blood rune crafting. So I'm hoping in this video I can at least get to 50 Tombs of a Masket completions. Um, that's really the goal, so I'm hoping I can get to that within the time frame that I need to put up this video. But yeah, let's hope for 50 KC and yeah, see what we get. All right, a 33.27. That is a pretty good time. Maybe my best time. Yeah, that is a PB. Wow, we zoom in over here. All right, and it is a white light. Another thread. Oh, man. And then a clue scroll elite. Very nice. We'll take that. Otherwise, that was not worth very much. 58k. A 3248. I believe that's a new best. Yeah, look at that. We going fast. And white. All right, two magic seeds, 10 toad blacks, and 57 emeralds for 134k. All right, a 3225. There's uh, another... Another personal best, I guess. Pretty good. And it is a white. All right, some gold ore, potato cactus, and sapphire for 65k. All right, a 3838. I ended up dying to Akka, so during come phase at the very last of it, but we got to clear anyways. And it is a white light. Ah, some dragon stones and some battle staves. Actually, pretty good for 381k. All right, a 3231. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, no way, no way. Okay, okay, we got another purple. All right. Okay, so this is raid number 22 on normals, and it is our second purple. What do you say? Um, I'm gonna go with Masori Legs. I think it's gonna be Masori Legs. Oh, I actually predicted it. Masori Legs, look at that. Masori chaps. Oh my god. I will take those. Holy shit. These things are 60 mil. Oh shit. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, I'm I'm taking this straight to the Grand Exchange. Yeah, I'm I'm taking these straight straight there. All right, we're we're putting these bad boys in. I'm just going to go 60 mil even. Sold right away. Oh my god. Look at that. A 60 mil <laughs> drop. This is by far the biggest drop I've ever gotten in my life. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm going to spend 50 mil on a, well, 10 mil or so on a Tormented Bracelet. That'll be a next best in slot for magic. So yeah, that is one thing I'm definitely going to get. Man, I can't believe I fucking called it too. Alright, and I'm going to spend the rest of it. Uh, well, not the rest of it, but this is all I'm going to spend it on. I'm going to hold the rest of the money. I'm going to buy a Primordial Crystal. I'm basically putting all the money that I'm getting from it to improve my gear setup for the raids itself. And the Primordial Boots are, uh, you know, might as well just uh, get that upgrade while you can. And there we go. And now we look cool. But alright, nothing else to do but to get back to raids. All right, a 3510. Did we get the back to back? All right, a white light. No back to back for us, but we do get 29 dragon stones. Very nice. This is 468k. There we go, a 3752. Is that 25kc? Yep, that is 25 KC, 24 in entry mode. I mean, one in entry mode and 24 on normal. And it is a white light. Hey, another cache of runes and 10 toad flax seeds. It was 8K worth of loot without the cache calculated in. All right, here it is. 1300 soul runes. That makes an 8k drop go to almost 400. Alright, a 3135. Tomb Looter. Now, Tomb Looter is just 25 normal, so... Kinda expected that one coming in. And... It is... Another White Light. And some Toad Flax Seeds, some Death Runes, and some Sapphires. For 126k. Oh my god, the magic level fucked me. I think that's 98 magic. Yeah, 98 magic. Then It delayed me so I couldn't move, so then I got petrified. Alright, a 33.45. And it's a white light. Alright, some torstal seeds, some gold ore, and some potato cactus. For a total of 70k. Alright, and that is the end of the day of raiding for me. Nine total clears for 62.2 mil. Uh, getting that, you know, Masori chaps in. Really making the grind worth it. Yeah, tomorrow is the start of my very long week, so probably won't get much time to play. But I'm glad I was able to get this nice session in. But yeah, the uh, next clip will probably be an update of my blood rune crafting grind i'll actually give you a little update since i haven't really given you one uh so far i uh am level 83 now rune crafting and i have 82 well 83k blood runes right here and then another 15k right here so almost 100k blood runes that i've crafted and the stack is just gonna get bigger and bigger i'm not sure if i'll ever sell them it's nice to have that big stack Especially if I ever decide to get like a, a Sang staff or something like that where I will need a lot of blood runes. But I will see you guys in a handful of days when the work week gets a little less hectic. Alright, I am back and I was so close to a level that I figured I might as well stay here and get the level. But I have crafted around 19,000 blood runes. And we're about to hit level 84 runecraft. Alright, and... Level 84 runecraft, very nice. That's 19,386 blood runes. For a total of... 3.9 mil.
And if we look here, I have 117,000 blood runes now. Oh my god. 23 mil, almost 24 mil in blood runes. And I've crafted like all of them. Alright, but I am going to head back to some tombs of a mascot. So I got all day, so hopefully get a bunch done. I'm sitting at 26 normal cases, so still got 24 more kills to go until I hit 50 KC. There we go. That was a pretty fast last phase for Wardens. But 3515. And it's a white light. Alright. Uh four dragon med helms and some raw shark. Okay. Or 290k. There we go. 3314. Alright. Is it a purple? It is white. Hey, some soul runes and the rest is kind of trash, but soul runes is pretty good. For 133k. Alright, I'm gonna put it up to a 265. I took off Ancient Haze, put on Mind the Gap, Stay Vigilant, and Deadly Prayers. I also changed it to a hardcore run. Alright, that's a 265 down. I believe this is my highest rate I've completed. All right, let's see if it pays off. We have a 3.5% chance for a unique. And it is a white light. And we get some Snapdragon seeds and some battle staves. Okay. For a total of 355k. There we go. Got down to the wire a little bit, but we got it down. And another white. And we got some rubies and sapphire. For 77k. Jesus, man, down to the wire again. Another white light. And hey, some blood essence. I can actually use those. Some Lily of the Sands and some Manta Rays. For 193,000. There we go. Another one down. Another white light. All right. Hey, a cache of runes. 3,200 death runes. Very nice. Yeah, so 128k plus 329k, so yeah, the cache of ruins, really good on uh, on value. I really like it. There we go, another kill. Another white light. 57k, that is terrible. What kill am I at? Let's see. This, this will be KC number 34 on normal, okay. And another white light. Or some Reynard seeds and some dragon dart tips. That's a pretty good chest. 700k. Alright, kill number 35. Another white light. And we get A, another cache of runes and some dragon dart tips. We get 1300 blood runes. Very nice. For a total of like 520k. So, pretty good run. There we go. Getting pretty consistent with these 265s. And another white. Some magic seeds and some soul runes. Okay. For 223k. There we go. Another clear. I think this one's going to be the last one for me on the night. I've been going at it all day. And it is another white light. Going to end on that. And we get some diamonds and some other crap. For 114k. Gonna end the day with 11 kills for 2.5 mil. Got two uh, caches, nothing else. So hopefully tomorrow we get another purple. I know I'm uh, a little spooned on purples, but it'd be nice to see another one, you know? There we go, first kill of the day. 34, 32. A white light. It's not too bad. Get some soul runes, 146k. There we go, 33.58. This is KC number 39. And it's a white light. Hey, some more blood essence. Can't not complain about that. For 193k. Alright, that, that was a very good warden phase. KC number 40. 
Get anything for the big 4-0? Ah, another white light. Hey, more blood essence. Cannot complain. For a total of 241k. Alright, so I am at 40kc on normals. So I'm going to try to get 10 more for this video. Alright, KC number 41. I don't think I'm due for a purple yet, but it'd, it'd be really nice just to get another one, you know? It's always nice to see the purple light. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, uh, speak of it and it will happen. All right. All right. Uh, what do I think is gonna, gonna come from this? Let me think. As bad as, as much as I don't want it, I really think it's gonna be a light bearer again, but let's see. Oh, it's a fang. Okay. That's a lot better than a, it's a lot better than a light bear. Heck yeah. We got a fang, which is nice and juicy profit. 37 mil they went up. I think this patch made them go up a little bit, which is a uh, pretty nice 38 mil in the bank. Let's go. We got to go for the back to back. Got to go for it. Soup is right. He he did say that my next purple was going to be fang. Yeah, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I bought this fang back and it was like around 30 mil like 30 31 mil so it's went up a decent amount in price it's yeah it's uh it's looking like a pretty good profit i i'm gonna sell it after this raid but i'm really looking forward to this back to back so at kc41 we have three purples no dupe shit besides you know the thread and the cachet but that's you know i wouldn't really consider those like they're not purples so it's it is what it is but yeah hopefully i uh get another purple and it's not a dupe if it is a dupe i'll i'll take anything besides the light bearer the light bearer is just like a feels bad man drop after you get it once i feel like but let's go ahead and get this raid number 42 on the way all right, did we get the back-to-back -back purples? Possibly. Ah, it's a white light. All right. Hey, some toad flax, some sapphire, and some manta ray for a whopping 64k. Let's go. All right, let's chunk this bad boy in for 39.4 mil. Boom. There we go, 39 mil right in our pockets, bringing our cash stack to 51 mil. And another white light. Uh, some soul runes, Raynar seeds, and battle save. That's actually a pretty good drop. 493k. Here we go, last raid of the day. I highly doubt it'll be anything uh, of the purple category, but might as well see. All right. Hey, some Dragonstone and some Diamond. Uh, that's pretty good value for 432k. But all right, I was able to do seven tombs of a Masket today for 41.4 mil, most of it being, of course, the Fang. Ending off today at 44 normal KC. So six more raids until we hit that beloved 50 kill count. All right, first clear of the day. 3.5% chance for a unique. Alright, a white light. Hey, Cache Ruins and 10 Raynar Seeds. I cannot complain about that. See, the Raynar Seeds and the Gold Bars was 243k plus 2800 Blood Runes. 573k. <laughs> Hit points level 102. All right, another 265 down. All right, another white light. Hey, that's, that's not a bad one. Some dragon med helms and some sharks for 269k. Alrighty, another raid down. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, some rubies and some battle staves. 210k. Level 94 attack, I actually was not expecting that. 
All right. What kill is this? Kill number 48. All right. Let's see what we get. Uh, that's kind of kind of bad, but yeah, 47k. That was not great. Very nice. Novus Tomb Raider. That is 50kc. Uh, one on, but only 49kc on normal. So we'll get another combat task um after this next raid. Alright, let's see what we get. 182k. There we go, Tomb Raider. That is 50 normal kills. Alright, let's see if we get anything from this chest. And some diamonds and some manta rays for 119k. Alright, and this is the loot from 51 Tombs of a Masket. Uh, one being the entry mode and 50 being on entry. We got a Masori Chap, a Osmond and Sphang, and a Lightbearer, along with a bunch of other stuff. Two threads, two elite clue scrolls, and five caches of runes. Also did get a decent amount of seeds as well, but totaling up to 118 mil. Now if we take that 118 mil and we divide it by 51, we made approximately... 2.3 mil per KC, which is uh, pretty crazy, which averages out to, I mean, I'm getting a little less than two an hour, two kills an hour, so it's averaging out to about four mil an hour. Um, I am really lucky on these, uh, getting these purples, so this is highly inflated, but yeah, very good money making right now. And I also forgot to include this, but uh, the cache of runes ended up being 1.8 mil. So add that and it's basically 120 mil worth of loot. All right, and I'm going to end this video off with a 300 invocation kill. And I'm going to pick me up an amulet of torture for that so I can replace my fury. All right, so I turned off penetration. I turned off lively larvae and then I put on walk the path and I'm gonna see how it goes. There we go, our first expert completion. And that is another combat task at a 3617, which uh, isn't too bad, I think. And we now have a 4.38% chance to get a unique, so maybe we'll get one. Ah, it's just a white light. Well, let's see what loot we get. Um, Dragon dart tips, dragon med helms, and dragon stone, I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good drop, 881k. But anyways, I think that is going to be it for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you. And if you're new here and you like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more videos in the future. Also, I do have a Discord that will be linked down in the description below if you would like to join. There's not a lot going on there, but I do plan on having uh, some events and stuff going on in the future. But anyways, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.